Welcome back to another episode of the free Fishy Plugs Detective, where I view just on demonstrate various free VSTs. This is the locomotive by Archetype Instruments. And as I do with all synthesizers, I've not really tried this one out yet that much. I like to do it kind of live on camera, and we'll see what happens. So this one, when I did some research, it was basically a high quality, almost analog, old school style synth. So the way I saw it described in some reviews is that it basically combined the old school style synthesizer analog sounds, but with a new school twist. So um, uh, let's see what happens. So doing the default sound. Like that sound quality right away. I think sometimes you can tell a lot by the plugin, not always, by the default sound so here are all the presets i like to kind of mess around with the presets and then we'll see kind of what we can do with this one all right definitely like an old school video game Fact, was that hard sync? I think. Alright. That actually be kind of cool for like a Jaws bass house style track. Show some more of these. So it seems like a lot of them are very similar. I'm messing around with this. Ooh, it's a bit aggressive. <laughs> uh, cheesy organ, all right. Yeah, this is a bit cheesy. They, they weren't lying about that one. Life is random. I kind of like that one. There's something weird about it that doesn't, <laughs> no. Please, Resby. So, let's see. so on the GUI, obviously, we have the LFO oscillator filter drive, control oscillator mix, and the envelope. I feel like that's, that reminds me of like the video game sound of like running. <laughs> Using the LFO, obviously. So this one's pretty cool. Honestly, uh, I guess let's go back to the default. So you can just... So I can send the LFO off to different destinations, you know, like I was doing the hard sync there. some different one. And I mean, this one, it's, it's cool, I think, for, like, if you want to really customize some old-school analog video game type sounds. I don't know if I'd use this one actually um, in my own track. It's, it's tough to say. I, I think for a rating, I think I'll probably give this one, I think, uh, a three out of five. Because for an analog, and like I said in the beginning of this with the review, I do kind of agree with the review where in terms of hearing analog sounds, this one has very, you know, more high quality old school sounds, if that makes sense. And it's a bit of like an oxymoron. But besides that, I don't know. Some of these are just not, 
it's not doing it for me personally. I did like that one though, the need ATM base. That one's the only one I'm like, okay, I could see that. Stop block. Harmonica. That was not bad. But yeah, in terms of like the sound quality and everything, I feel like a lot of these uh, sounds I could probably use in other synths like Serum. I could probably recreate a lot of these, you know, so, but hey, I, I guess if you want, like, a very specific, old school, almost video game type, analog style sound, not a bad one to pick up, especially because you can customize a decent amount, obviously, you know, there's a synthesizer, but I feel like for the usefulness, it's tough to say.